Hi, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun video, well it's gonna be fun for me. Kind of similar to the previous video I uploaded, which I loved filming and I loved editing, even though it took me like a month to finally sit down and edit it. But this video will be my first one that I will post on this channel in December. So happy December, happy Christmas season or happy holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. Or if you celebrate nothing in December, then just welcome to a new video. In case you haven't been keeping up with my previous videos, I have a little small business here in Montevideo in Uruguay and I make clothes. My recent collection was made out of satin and I decided after making a few little dresses for my nieces in Australia, I made those over a month ago now because I wanted to send them from South America to Australia and have them arrive before Christmas. And I was like, you know what? Why not make these and sell these for other people? So I have been very busy making little kids dresses and I thought, what better way than to market my products than by going to a market leading up to Christmas. So at the time of filming this clip, it is Wednesday the 1st of December and the market is on every Sunday, every Sunday morning in a street called Tristein Narvaja. I hope I'm pronouncing that okay. And I want to take my things and sell them there. I will not be able to make enough products to actually have people purchase them and take them home that day. But I do want to at least make something in every size, particularly of the kids collection so that people can see them displayed, be like, oh, I haven't heard of you. For example, mums or grandmas or aunts and uncles who don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, they might be able to see the cute little kids' dresses and be like, oh my God, I should buy that as a Christmas present for my child, my grandchild, my niece, my whoever. So I have been very busy. The concept essentially is satin, but like shirred, which is when you sew with elastic thread. So this, I have two that are pretty much the same. This, well, one of them is going to be a size 14 to 16 child dress. So I'm going to attach it to a little skirt piece. And the other one is going to be an extra, extra small adult crop top. But the dresses, wait till you see the little dresses. So this is one I made in black. This was supposed to be a much larger size, but then by the time I added all the elastic, it was a bit of trial and error. I was originally going with like one and a half times the size, but I ended up having to increase that to being like 1.7 or almost two times the fabric that I wanted because the elastic I'm using, the elastic thread I'm using is so strong that it like really shrinks them in. So this ended up being more like a size four to six child's dress. So I am going to have to um, hem it a little bit shorter, but okay. Then I went out and bought the red fabric for Christmas time. So wait till you see the red next to the green one. So imagine you're walking around the little market, buying your fruits and vegetables. Maybe there's some other craft stores around and then you just see these hanging up. I mean, how cute. So honestly, I think these ended up being almost the same size. This one looks slightly bigger. So I'm going to have to double check my measurements and see what size they are. They were both supposed to be around um, 12 to 24 months. I think this one was supposed to be 12 to 18 and this one was supposed to be 18 to 24 months, but they look very similar. So I'm gonna have to double check that. I have now perfected my size chart, but I had started making a few of these before I had finalized the size chart and before I had finalized my, I guess my equations for creating the patterns, but Either way, this is the baby style, so with the little elastic straps, because the child's design has these tie-up straps, but obviously you don't want to have like too many loose ribbons and things around baby if it comes undone, you know. Just for safety reasons, I went with the elastic on the other one. So this, again, started out being a much larger size, but because the elastic, it was like, and now it's a little mini baby dress but i love them i think they are adorable okay so what i want to take with me to the market is one dress in every child size and in the range of colors so for example i'm gonna have like i think this is the smallest size i just need to add these straps 
So I'm gonna have a teeny tiny baby one in pink, then I'm gonna have a purple one in the next size up, then a blue one in the next size up above that. Then it was supposed to go green and then red. But you see what I mean where the green one kind of looks bigger than the red one? So my rainbow color coordination is gonna be a little bit off. But the sizes go all the way from zero to three months up to 14 to 16 like years. But of course, the older you get, the less in line the sizes are with your age and the more they are just with your physical size. I also have the little crop tops for women. So I would love to make one of these in all the sizes as well. I'm only selling four or five different sizes. So there's the extra, extra small, then these, there's the small, medium, the large, extra large, the 2XL to 3XL, and then the four to five. So this was again supposed to be the 2XL, but I might have to double, but I'm gonna have to double check that and make sure that this didn't shrink too much. But of course they are like super stretchy. So that was the main idea of going to the market is so that people who, well one, people who don't already follow me on social media will be able to see my products and go, oh, that looks really cute for Christmas. I'm going to place an order and then it, I can make the order and send it to them or have them pick it up, but I will be able to collect orders at the market and then organize the rest later once I've made the items. And also so that people who already follow me can come and see the sizes in person have a feel of the of the fabric, look at the quality, look at the sizes and all of that. Because being a small business, but also being a size inclusive business makes it difficult because most people would wanna come and try on or at least like hold up the item and be like, okay, does that look like it would fit me? Because as a extra large to two XL, this looks kind of small now and they are supposed to be kind of cropped, but I might have to adjust the pattern so that it's a bit larger because I don't want it to I don't want to sell it as a 2xl and then it like doesn't fit the people it's supposed to fit you know or if they have to have it fully stretched out then that kind of defeats the purpose because you don't get the cute little elasticated look so that's my plan it is currently Wednesday and I have a few well yeah as you've seen I have this amount of dresses done they're not all perfect because the black one needs to be rehemmed I also need to order tags for the kid sizes. The red one needs the skirt attached. This green one needs to have the size checked and the tag attached. Red one just needs tags. Pink one needs straps. You get the idea. There's some work to be done. And on the tops, I have only done, well, I've almost done a extra, extra small. I have the 2XL and I have one that fits me, so it's like a small medium. But because that was my first sample, I don't know if I'm gonna take that to the market or not, or if I'm if I'm changing the pattern slightly and the sizes, I might have to make another one. But I have a whole big spreadsheet of all the things I wanna bring with me to the market, so the rest of the video is probably gonna be mostly time-lapse of me making some things. I will have included some clips along the way. For example, the other day, when I bought the red fabric, I cut it all out in one big go. So I measured out as many things as I could make. I cut out one baby dress, one larger child's dress, one um, women's top, and then a few scrunchies. And then with the teeny tiny scraps, with the little scrap, I've been making these little bows. Alejandro's been helping me with cutting them out and stitching them together. In fact, this one he did pretty much all on his own. I showed him how to do the first one and then he's been doing the rest yeah, pretty much on his own. So it's been really helpful. I would also love to be able to bring like, I don't know, like 10 of each size of the bows because I've been making some teeny tiny ones as well. A few different scrunchies in each color, a few different masks in each color. Cause stuff like this is gonna be pretty cheap to, like I'm gonna be selling it for pretty cheap and I can like, someone can order one and take it with them that day, like if a little girl wanted a green or a pink bow, she could, like her parents could buy it and she could take it straight away. And I also wanted to display the different sizes of my little dog hoodies, cause these have been really popular lately. Um, in fact, all the orders I've had from my site so far have been for the pet stuff, but I have been communicating with like three different people over the last few days about ordering like a long gown for the end of the year or for graduation or Christmas or whatever it is. So I'm expecting more orders leading up to Christmas. But so far, the things I've sold have all been pet related. And my video on TikTok that I, where I made 
this one and this specifically i filmed making them it was like a little sound i can put it up it was the oh it just needs a little bit of shaping if you know that if you know you know but that video now has over a million views i think 1.3 million views so it's my most viewed by quite a lot on tiktok so a lot of people asking about these at first it was all uruguayans but then it spread to argentina and now there are views from mexico peru colombia just a lot of different places in south america so very very exciting and who knows where that will take you and that is the benefit of posting on tiktok you just never know whether your video is going to get like 300 views or if you're going to get like 3 million who knows I, I do think it's a good video but i think i've made other good videos too and they didn't get nearly as many views so this is my progress basket i've been talking for way too long so let's get into the rest of the video okay it is the next day and i kind of knew that december was going to be a big month and i kept telling myself that that you know leading up to the holidays you will be able to start shopping more ordering things wanting fancier clothing and that seems to be the case so i've actually been messaging back and forth with a few different people and i have one official order that's been finalized and two others that will potentially be finalized in the next like two days <sighs> on top of getting all my market stuff ready as always so today i'm going to just get this green dress done it is it should be pretty easy because it's essentially my standard design like cowl neck basic dress only longer and in green so i've got a measurements i have my patterns i just need to extend them to be floor length send us some photos so i should easily be able to get this one done today then see how much fabric i have left because someone else also asked about either um having a dress in the lilac color or in the green so i need to know if i have enough fabric in the green or if i have to tell her that it'll have to be the lilac because this specific fabric I can't buy just like an extra two meters off I would have to go and buy another 10 meters and while I would love to do that I have plenty of other fabrics I also want to buy and you know money is an issue so I'm gonna sit down and get this all made and then hopefully have some time to get cracked into the rest of the kids dresses later with all the shearing so today's gonna be a big one I even bought this little orders thing so you can write down all the orders i've got her measurements what she wanted the fact that it's paid uh when she needs the dress by which is the <laughs> fifth i think she's local so it should be all good but, but even if i have to deliver it as long as i get done today it should have plenty of time to get there on time because i'll still be like three days of eight it'll be good so let's get sewing and also make a tiktok so yeah we'll so yeah, I'll hop back on when I'm back to doing some, you know, market prep, but it's all, all part of the job. pause apparently i have to do the yoga tonight not that i have to i want to we've been talking about doing this for a while now a friend of alejandro's is like teaching yoga and we we're gonna go last week but then the weather was disgusting it was like raining so we're going to go do yoga in a park tonight so that's what i'm all changed for and even though it looks like i've only done the straps i've cut everything out i've made the straps you have to do this first and the rest is pretty straightforward just like stitching down the sides sewing like front to back and then adding the hem more or less is like the whole dress and of course like finishing off the seams with the um, overlocker and making sure nothing's gonna fray adding the tag mostly done so i'll definitely get it done tonight but um not before sunset because it's almost six o'clock so we're gonna go i don't know half an hour yoga in the park an hour i have no idea we'll see how it goes and i'll check in when i get back
it is the next morning. I it was too late to be sewing last night when we got back, so I'm gonna get straight into finishing off this dress. I should be able to get it done in the next like hour and a half, which is perfect because I have an English class at 10, but only one today, just 10 to 11. So if I can get this done before 10, I can send her the photos to confirm and then organize delivery slash pickup and then get back into making my kids dresses because that's what was supposed to be about. Okay, it's now 10 to 9, which means I have about an hour before my class starts. And I'm at the stage where I would be attaching the front of the dress to the back of the dress. But, of course, something went wrong and I found a little mark on the dress. And it's not on the back or on the side or at the hem where I'm going to cut it off anyway. But, like, right... You see that right in the middle? So this is, like, the neckline. So, thankfully... Even if it's still there, like the, the drape of the neckline will really like minimize its visibility. But just the fact that there's this like slight little mark here in the fabric. Honestly on camera it's not showing up that much, but if someone's like ordering a custom like long dress, obviously for a fancy occasion, they don't want it to arrive and it has a mark on it. So I think I'm going to gently try to wash that mark off and then hang the dress outside like on a drape over a coat hanger for an hour during my class and just pray that the um, the mark just vanishes because I really want to get this done ASAP and I I could have easily gotten this done within the next hour but I need to check whether the stain's gonna come out because otherwise I might have to like either message the girl and ask if she's okay with the mark or recut out the whole front piece and that will take like another two hours to finish the dress then but you know that's where we're at i'm gonna go ahead and do that make myself a coffee because i haven't had anything to eat or drink today except for water and then find something productive to do for the next hour while i wait for my english class okay if you can hear some spanish in the background alejandro is on the phone with his grandma but i'm thinking the dress should be dry my class is finished yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh. Do you know how much I would love to just have these doors open while I'm sewing? But I just can't with that noise. I just can't do it. I won't, I won't do it. So we have to keep them closed and keep the fresh air out, which just honestly sucks. But let's get back to finishing this dress because I really want to get started on the kids ones even though I probably should get started on my second order but she doesn't need her dress until like the 11th but this green one needs to be done or she needs to wear this dress on the 5th and it's already the 3rd so it has to be finished ASAP and sent out like today <laughs> breakfast time i've been doing this thing lately not even intentionally but mostly since i moved to uruguay i just kind of stopped having breakfast or stopped eating breakfast in the morning i'm also having some vegemite today which feels very i don't know very classic i only have this tiny little jar so i pretty much eat it like once a month which is about the same amount i used to eat it in australia if i'm totally honest but just knowing that i have this in my cupboard if i ever want it makes me feel better and i'm eating it super slow because yeah unless i get back to australia i can't exactly replace this i could potentially buy it in the us 
but importing foods into Uruguay is kind of a big no-no, but... Mm. But this update was supposed to be that I ended up messaging the person who ordered the green dress and just saying, hey, this is what happened. Because even after I washed the fabric, it's still kind of there. So I'm not sure if, if I had washed it for longer and with some more soap, if it would have come out. So I just showed her pictures of like from a distance and up close. Because again, because of the position, you really can't see it that much. But I also wanted to let her know like, hey, these are your options. I can either leave it as it is and just hem the dress and then it'll be done in like half an hour, an hour. Or if you want, I can just remake the whole front of it because I don't want to give someone something that's like not perfect. But she seems so cool with it and really happy. And every time I message someone, it just reminds me of how shit at replying I am. Like, and I try really hard with my work, like my business um, DMs or messages and things. But like for personal messages, I might take like a week to reply and... Um, I don't love that about myself, but I just, I don't know what it is about messages that just gives me anxiety. So long story short, I think the dress is fine. I'm gonna just go ahead and add the, add the hem and add the tags and everything and get it ready to go. Organize with the girl if she's gonna pick it up or if I'm gonna send it to her, all that kind of thing. So the dress is all good, almost finished. And we're about ready to move on to market prep. Okay, so dress is finished. Luckily, her measurements are pretty similar to mine, so I was able to try it on, and that's when I realized the hips were just, like, way too, like, low and wide before, and also I had to adjust the sides a little, so there's just one last thing I have to do is tack down the lining oh, at the side seam here on the inside so it doesn't try to, like, flop up on the inside. But yeah, and then because the straps are longer than they were in the past, you can wear it a bit looser so it hangs a little bit lower, or you could even crisscross them at the back. Because if you can see, they're quite long. And I do think this dress looks best with a little belt or like some kind of tie around the middle, but that will be up to her if she wants to do that. But yeah, see so yeah, a task number one done got to message her and see when she's going to come and pick it up we were also thinking maybe we'd go to the fabric store today to get some more t-shirt fabric so if we're going to do that i have to go pretty soon because it's about three o'clock and they're only open for a few more hours so that means again not sure how many of the kids dresses i'm going to get done today but i want to get at least one more finished and then i'll do like four tomorrow to try to get ready by sunday Feels like I should have done a lot more, but I was sewing this yesterday, so I got a whole nother bodice done on the 
one of the larger sizes of the kids. So this is a tip. This will be a size 10 to 12. So all I have to do left for this one is sew the straps, which I've just cut out, and also cut out the skirt and then attach it. Same thing with my little red dress I showed you the other day. I have the skirt all cut out here in a big donut shape, and then I have to attach that to the dress. So that will be two more little girls' dresses left. I also bought these coat hangers yesterday in the end from just the supermarket. We went to this place called Soddy Mac to see if they had a clothes rack and they did not. They also didn't have any kids coat hangers but we went upstairs to the supermarket and found these cute little ones which are really handy because they've got the deep little indents which is good for hanging the little straps on. So that's one little bonus. I also purchased a clothing rack on Mercado Libre today so that should be delivered later this afternoon between three and like 10 on a Saturday. That's what they said, so fingers crossed it arrives today. That was like 960 pesos, but then with delivery, it's like over a thousand, but still not that bad. And we couldn't find any in stores that were, well, we couldn't find any at all, let alone anything decent. So that is the plan for the rest of the day. I spent the morning doing some classes and then packaging up this order. She should be arriving any minute now. That was a long green dress. And then I have quite a few more messages that I need to get replying to and just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do today. Also, the one thing we did get at Soddy Mac yesterday were these little tubs, which are great for just like dividing things. So I cut out a whole bunch of scrunchies last night in the green from these scraps. So I'm going to go ahead and sew those up later. I also have a few red ones in here to go. I think there's two red scrunchies and then the rest are just straps. So I'm going to put in here things that are like in progress. And I also have, well, I have two. So I bought four tubs. So one is going to be the progress of scrunchies and then the completed scrunchies. And then these two are going to be the progress of the bows and then the completed bows. So this has been Alejandro's job. It's just like sewing the little bows together. But he's at his grandma's house right now. So I am at home waiting for the girl to come pick up her dress and trying to just have some lunch, get some work done in the meantime. Dress delivered or picked up, more coffee and back to the sewing machine to get stuck into sewing. I don't even know what. I have green thread on the sewing machine so I guess I should finish the green dress and sew the the green scrunchies while I still have green thread on and then I'll swap it back to the red to finish off that dress. Okay, it's been like an extra week and I did film more clips for this, but I figured there's no point in me searching through my camera roll to try to find the ending to the vlog when so much has changed. This is my rack right now. We did not end up going to the market. It's been like a week. We have had two Sundays since I started this and I still have not gone one because I didn't get the dresses finished. Oh, this is the clothing rack I bought, by the way. I got it off of Mercado Libre and they just delivered it. But also because I got so many like personal orders for dresses for um graduations then for christmas and now a few for like the new year so i just didn't have time to go to the market um well one i didn't have time to even go to the market and two there's no point in going to the market to accept orders if i wouldn't have time to make the orders before christmas so i'm very grateful that i started this video and was getting ready and like keeping busy and making all the little like um like samples and things but that green dress that I was making at the start of this process and I was like, oh, I just want to get this done so I can get back to making my little kids dresses. That video on TikTok actually did really well and I got a bunch of new um, followers and then new followers on TikTok and then they came over to Instagram and requested personal dresses for, again, for graduations, for Christmas, for everything. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Also, my in-laws just arrived today, so they were just coming to the apartment just then, which is another reason why these videos have been a little delayed, but I have a fun sewing project that I'm going to make hopefully tomorrow or the next day. But again, I've got all these orders to get done, so the last thing I have time for is to make make a sewing project just for myself. But I really want to get the video up before, you know, before it gets too close to Christmas. You'll see next week, hopefully. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.